Today, for the first time in human history, more people live in cities than in rural areas. By 2030, six out of every 10 people will be urbanites. Such change has enormous implications. Nowhere is this mass migration more evident than in Latin America. You look around the world and the growth of cities is astonishing. You think of 1950, there were only two cities in the world that had populations greater than 10 million people, London and New York. There are now 20 of those cities. 12 of those have realized that in just the last two decades. In Latin America, the same as in a large part of the world, the major part of the population is moving to live in the cities. In Latin America, we have about 580 million people. It's estimated that 78% of the people in Latin America live in cities. Such massive migration creates unprecedented challenges. Overnight, shantytowns pop up. Insufficient sanitation, inadequate housing, and insatiable hunger run rampant. Crime, corruption, and civic unrest escalate. There are many people that are disoriented, many that do not know what to do. Sadly, corruption is immersed in all spheres of society, in the government, in private industry, in law enforcement, in all spheres of society. There are many problems in homes these days, problems with children, problems in schools with the values that they have, and also many problems between spouses. So the reality of a continent like Latin America with the social, economic and family problems that exist today shows a great spiritual need. When I was young, I believed that you would be able to change all this by changing the laws, changing the economic models, changing external things. But I have realized that the only way to change and eliminate corruption is to change the heart of the people. And the only one that is able to change the heart of the people is Jesus. The local church is the answer for the spiritual need around the world. As we see people transformed with the power of the gospel and churches raised up, they then impact their community. They're able to meet physical needs as well, compassion needs around them, and they're able to help change society. Unfortunately, for many years, the evangelical church was missing in action in the cities of Latin America. But then, God sparked change. It began in Lima, Peru. God impressed a vision on the hearts of two men, Roy Letourneau, a Christian businessman, and Ken Opperman, a missionary and pastor. They had a vision that was much bigger than just trying to reach a person or an individual or a group of people. They wanted to reach a nation. Uh, they would talk, they would pray together. And as they did that, uh, an idea began to crystallize. And that was that they would uh, try to, to reach out into the middle class through uh, developing a church uh, or a series of churches that would be attractive to professionals and to middle class people. And part of that was that it was going to be a church of about a thousand people which was unheard of at that time. People said that it was crazy to think about a thousand evangelicals in a church in Latin America. But in 15 months, that church was full and overflowing. That church now has seven services on Sunday with 7,000 people and has daughtered and granddaughtered more than 75 churches in the city of Lima alone. They called the vision Lima to an encounter with God. Imagine not just one church, but dozens of churches. Imagine not just a handful of believers, but tens of thousands throughout the city, proclaiming the gospel, extending mercy, and offering hope. It was a bold strategy, but it worked. Church Ministries International was created to help extend this great work of God throughout Latin America. As from the start, CMI's Encounter with God vision is simple. Concentrate on evangelism, discipleship, and church planting in key cities. Mobilize the city's strategic influencers, the middle class, urban professionals, and equip churches with attractive, well-located facilities that are inviting to everyone. 
The same cities that magnify the world's spiritual poverty are also the gateways for reaching more people than ever with the saving and healing hope found in Jesus Christ. Though long forgotten, the concept is an ancient one. Where did the Apostle Paul go in extending the gospel? He went to the urban centers, the crossroads of society, and he planted the church strong there. Uh, they were in Rome and Athens and Corinth. And as a result of taking the gospel to those places and planting the seeds of local churches, they ended up creating a movement that impacted a nation. Hyperurbanization makes major cities even more influential today, culturally, economically, politically, and most of all, spiritually. I believe that the capital cities are the centers for connecting and bringing together the major part of the population in Latin American countries. For this reason, it is essential that the evangelical churches be established clearly and visibly in the capital cities. I believe that Church Ministries International is one of the few organizations that grasps the opportunity in the urban setting to develop dynamic churches that multiply, and not only multiply, but have a vision of multiplying together. Our focus and our concentration is to establish the church strong in the capital or the major city of the country, giving them the foundational basis, the critical mass, if you will, to reproduce themselves throughout the country. In time, this becomes a gospel movement that reaches ever-increasing numbers of people for Christ and sparks new compassion ministries uniquely suited to the needs of the local communities. But establishing such a movement demands a different mindset, one that accounts for the unique social dynamics of the city. Before the Encounter with God movement uh, began in the early 70s, uh, there really was no emphasis to reaching the middle class and professional people for Jesus Christ. Uh, the evangelical church developed uh, by reaching the poor, and it was a great need with so many poor people spread around the continent. But as it did, it began to be viewed by other segments of society as a church for the poor and the ignorant. And those who were in the middle class and professional class uh, pretty much uh, marginalized uh, the idea of, of what the evangelical church could offer them. When you're beginning at the lower levels, those people have a glass ceiling that they cannot penetrate. The middle class or upper middle class urban professional is strategic to expanding the gospel in these countries because of the fact that they have the influence to reach both up and down the social spectrum. When the word of God reaches the leaders, to the people that are in authority, to the executives, we are able to speak to and reach thousands of people in our society. Those people have the leadership ability, have the financial resources and all to carry on that work and extend that vision in reproducing themselves throughout the city and throughout the nation. Unfortunately, for most of its history, the evangelical church in Latin America has been ill-equipped to reach the professional segments of society. Through CMI, that is changing. I think all of us have an image of Latin America as a town with a big church in the center plaza. And that is tradition for Latin America. Evangelicals missed the boat in the beginning by putting their churches in locations that were hidden. Many times missionaries have told us of their experience in having uh, backstreet hidden churches, locations for their churches where they're meeting, that uh, even when they see people come to the Lord, that often they, they've made that decision, but they can't even find their way back. But Encounter with God broke away from that concept of the evangelical church on the side street, putting it on the main street. And that size and scope and dignity gives credibility to the evangelical church in a society where it's long been missing. As funds are raised to help meet the needs for churches that are attractive and that provide facilities, uh, to reach people for Jesus. Church Ministries International is providing a great opportunity and stepping into a great area of need for the evangelical church. The church facility becomes a vital tool for evangelism. By developing facilities inviting to urban professionals, Encounter with God congregations create a welcoming atmosphere 
for all social levels. We see people in all strata of society now who are attending churches and having an impact in their job and the place where they work. And uh, our churches have a great opportunity to step into the spiritual vacuum that exists in Latin society and to proclaim a message of truth and justice. And that's what CMI is about, is conveying that vision, that heart for what can be done to influence a nation and ultimately a continent by beginning with the core foundational start in the capital city amongst the urban professionals, the people who have the leadership, that have the resources, that have uh, the passion to see their nations transformed. Regrettably, I know of no other group of ministry apart from CMI that is carrying out this ministry, this help of vision, of work, and of expanding the church in Latin America. I don't know how we could have advanced in this work without CMI's help. Their commitment has been impressive in all aspects. I believe that those who work in CMI, the people who have donated to CMI, don't know the impact they have had, don't know how many lives have been transformed, don't know how many people are alive today, thanks to the Word of God. We're building the Church of Jesus Christ here in Latin America. We're building the Church of Jesus Christ by God's power to impact the lives of people who will be the people who transform nations. Will you join us? We can touch lives with the hope of the gospel. Together, we can equip the Church of Jesus Christ to impact the city. Together, we can throw open the gateways to disciple nations for Jesus Christ.